What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I've got yet another Warzone fix for you. Basically, in today's video, we're going to talk about fixing a crash that happens when loading up the game. This can be either loading into a server or simply starting up the game in the first place before or after you see the intro cutscenes. As soon as you see Warzone Dev Error 5761, then this guide should be able to help you. We'll be running through some of the most common fixes for this issue, and of course, if it doesn't happen to fix it for you, and you find another solution elsewhere, make sure to leave a comment down below to help other people having this issue. But anyways, let's begin with fixing Warzone Dev Error 5761. First of all, before we even get this video started, make sure that you restart your PC to see if everything's working as expected, and then go ahead and launch up just Blizzard and only Blizzard, then the game. Why exactly did I get you to restart your PC before trying the game yet again to see if you're still having the issue? Well, simply because the second most common fix is making sure that all third-party programs are closed, including Discord, OBS, possibly Steam, everything that has an overlay and that could be interacting with the game. Overlays seem to be causing more issues nowadays than before for some reason or another, but by making sure that other third-party programs are closed can often be enough to start up the game, get into a match, and then start up, say, Discord and other programs without them interacting and crashing your game completely. So of course, after a fresh restart, most of those other pieces of software shouldn't be open anyway, you're just going to be launching up Blizzard and the game itself to see if it works properly. If that didn't work, however, you can simply go ahead and either create a desktop shortcut or locate it by clicking Warzone, Options, and then clicking Create a Desktop Shortcut. By doing this, we can find an easy way to run the game in administrator mode, which can be a solution to some problems. After you see the Modern Warfare logo, simply right click and then click Run as Administrator. Otherwise, you can navigate across to where the game files are located by clicking Warzone, Options, and then Show in Explorer. Simply open up the Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder, scroll down to locate Modern Warfare Launcher, right click and then click Run as Administrator. By doing this, it should launch up and not allow other programs to interact with it as they would usually. You'd notice that if you have overlay software running, it usually won't be able to hook into the game without also being run in administrative mode. And of course, finally, I'd recommend updating your NVIDIA or AMD graphics card drivers as it could also be causing an issue, though it's less likely. And even less likely, you might have a pending Windows update or Windows upgrade. So make sure to check those as well. And of course, if everything's up to date, the last solution that you could possibly try is clicking the options button after selecting Call of Duty Warzone and then clicking scan and repair. This will run through all of the game's files on your PC and compare it to the files on the server. If any files are found to be different, it'll go ahead and download and replace them, fixing whatever issue you could be having in your game. Now, of course, while this was a very specific issue fix, error 5761, it could apply to other fixes. Most of what I talked about in this video is pretty general and could be used for debugging most games. But of course, if you're able to actually load into the game, there are a couple of other solutions that you could try. The first one is simply lowering your graphics settings and possibly limiting the FPS. Make sure that the game is running in full screen mode and try to lower the FPS to slightly below your monitor's refresh rate, otherwise exactly on it. And of course, dropping your in-game graphics quality is usually pretty good. Dropping the model quality, effect quality, etc, etc. The lower that those settings are, the less pull there is in your PC and the easier the game can be run, of course assuming that it's not already running on the lowest possible settings. And finally, one of the more confusing solutions is people saying that they can disable crossplay, which might fix this issue for them. While this could be related to the new Cold War content that has come out for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, something to do with crossplay is still possible, hence I'll include it in this video. Simply launch up the game. Then head into Options in the bottom left and across to the Account tab at the very top. Then simply locate Cross Play and set this to Disabled. This will force you to play with only people on the same platform as you, but by doing this, this could prevent some issues such as Error 5761 from occurring if you're getting it when loading into games rather than when you're starting up the game. But besides that, that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. Of course, if you come across another solution, make sure to leave a comment down below to help other people. My name has been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!